Hey guys, John here. Today I have a lead for you. In this pigments patch, I want it to be hit by, I want it to be struck by a smooth digital. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, here we go. So that one's a lot of fun to play. So anyway, let's get into this patch here. So for the synth side, we are using a little bit of the utility engine. So noise one and the sub, let's turn that off. We're using engine two, let's turn that off. Let's keep engine number one on. Let's take a look at our effects. And there's kind of a lot going on, so let's turn that off as well. So first things first, the envelope here is not too crazy. The attack is gonna be one millisecond, decay 300 milliseconds, sustain one, and the release is going to be 80. So that's what we have to begin with. For the keyboard, one of the iconic sounds for this patch is going to be the glide. It's going to be a small amount at 38 milliseconds, but it makes quite the difference. Okay, so for the first engine, we're going to be using the analog, my personal favorite. Now, for the first oscillator, we're going to be using the downward saw wave all the way at 0 dB. The second oscillator is going to be also 0 dB, but it's going to be the upward saw wave in down one octave here. The third oscillator is going to be a square pulse wave, and the width is going to be 0.869, and the volume a little bit lower at negative 4.11 dB. The unison here is going to be one, but we are also on a macro, which is kind of cool because I should have showed you this in the beginning, but if we turn all this stuff back on, we have our patch, right? We can turn away this unison so it just sounds more so like a lead. So yeah, I thought I would put that a uh, little bit of unison on the macro because you can change it to a, a lead kind of in the center or you can have the unison on and make it kind of a, a big patch there. So anyway, let's get back into it here. So yeah, we covered the three oscillators here, the unison like I just talked about, the detune is going to be 1.50% and stereo 100%. So, also the drift over here is going to be the default 0 0.010, might as well leave that on. This is going to be sending to filter number one, which is the famous MS-20, which is my personal favorite filter in the whole bunch here. So moving on from that, let's go to engine number two. Let's turn this guy on. And really this one, I only really added because I wanted another saw wave for this one here. So it's just gonna be one saw wave here, the downward, and it's gonna be going uh, zero dB out. And that's pretty much it. So I just wanted to add that extra saw wave for a little bit more texture, and that's going to filter number two, which you are bypassing this, so it doesn't really matter. It's just gonna be going to the effects anyway. So I didn't really want to filter it. That's really all that we're going to be doing here. Then moving on from there, we have our utility engine. So the first one here is going to be the snare rattle attack, which is really just that sound, which helps kind of a lot when we're hitting different notes, especially for a lead. It kind of lets our brain know a little bit that there's individual notes being pressed and kind of brings the attack of that note out a little bit more, which is kind of nice. So this sn uh, snare rattle attack can be found in the transients, kind of almost at the bottom, the third one from the bot or the fourth one from the bottom, snare rattle attack. We're using a little bit of the filter here to 30% high pass, and this one's getting sent to filter number two because I didn't want to filter this as well as I didn't want to filter engine number two because we want that high end, that crispiness, right, to, to that transient attack. And that's pretty much it for the sound generation. It's really not too difficult to create. Which is kind of a good point. You don't necessarily need everything on to have a pretty decent sounding patch. You can just use a little bit and yeah. Anyway, moving on from there, let's go to our effects and turn this on over here. So just so we know that uh, 
these filter routings are going to be fed into each other. So the output of filter number one is going to filter number two. But as we know, this one is bypassed, so that doesn't really matter. I just thought I'd point that out just in case. So for our effects here, let's turn off B and let's turn off our aux. I don't think we're actually not even using that. So whatever. Let's look at FX number A. So the first thing that this is going to hit is going to be a multiband. So this is what it sounds like dry. <laughs> So right there, we are getting a lot more highs right over here in the top. Kind of using this as a dynamic compressor in a certain kind of way, right? So we're getting a little bit more highs out of this and a little bit more lows. Kind of sounds a little more punchy and kind of the, the mids are a little bit, uh, a little bit more tucked in as if we AB this here. Kind of electrifying it. Then it hits a delay over here at a rate of one over four. The fine is going to be at zero, feedback 0.352, stereo spread 0 0.040, high pass 92.6 hertz, low pass 20k. And then this uh, dry wet is going to be zero, but it's going to be modulated from the effects knob at 0 0.20 or 20%. Then it hits another delay, which is going to be a dotted eighth note you guessed it find zero feedback 0.352 stereo width 0 0.70 high pass 54.0 low pass 20k it's going to be a ping pong for this one and the dry wet's going to be modulated at again 20 percent so we get a lot of cool different delays here right with our kick drum So yeah, pretty cool there. Then we go to FX Bank B, let's turn this on over here, and it hits a chorus reverb like, which I've really came to like. And this uh, value is gonna be a 0.14, so a little bit of amount here. Just really makes it huge, right? So here's without it. It's really nice. I'm not going to read out these values to save us a little bit of time because it is this presets here. So you could just select this drop down menu here and select the reverb like and it'll load it up just like it is over here. Then we hit a reverb. Make it a little bit larger. The pre-delay is going to be 20 milliseconds, size 1, decay 0.460, and the stereo width 0.5, high pass 200, low pass 4889 hertz, damping 0.6. The dry wet's going to be modulated by 0.19 or 19%. And then last but not least, here's just some corrective EQ at the very end, and we're kind of just bringing a little bit of that mud down, which is going to be at 133 hertz for this patch, and we're taking out about negative 3.60 dB. So it's a subtle difference, but take a listen how much of that mud kind of really clutters the sound. So here's with the mud. There's without it. It's subtle, but once you have the, everything in the mix too, that really, that low end mud's really gonna build up and it kind of does sound pretty bad. And that's pretty much it. So if you'd like to get this patch for free, there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. I think these macros are pretty self-explanatory. We got a cutoff resonance, the unison like I explained before, and then just our global effects here. So if you want all the effects gone, you just turn this knob and it's dry and you can add your own stuff. Or if you want just a little bit, totally up to you. So yeah, that one's a lot of fun to play with. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.